All right, hello everybody. I did not get blessed with the revenge raid today. Um, so instead what I'm going to be doing is doing a uh, commenter's video request, which is advice on how to get started in YouTube. And if you're not interested in that, then this is... Don't, don't bother listening any further, because that's all it's going to be is me yakking about YouTube stuff in this one. Um, so first off, I'm not, not a great YouTuber, and I'm not pretending to be one or that I have any great advice. Uh, all I can pretty much do is just share my own personal experience, and if you get a little few good tidbits out of that, then, then great for you. Um, the number one most important thing uh, for me personally is that I like to make videos that I like to watch, and, and uh, that's what I would recommend you do too. I think that's the best way to, um, you know, it's kind of like buying stocks, buy what you buy what you use kind of thing. It's that type of advice. But if, you know, if you like watching them, then other people probably will too. And to <clears throat> also just to be yourself, it's very, very hard to please everybody I've discovered in YouTube. You know, you got, you got one person telling you that you're, they love X about your videos. And then another person says they hate it. I mean, you cannot please everybody on, on YouTube and lo people love to go into the comments and criticize you for for the way you do things, and it's just you just got to ignore them. So, um, uh, so yeah, that's that's just kind of like some some basic foundational aspects of how I approach it. But uh, as far as getting started, I, I started about four months ago, and it was a pretty slow start. This was my first video here at the bottom, last day on Earth base design, and it was just basically me talking about my base and how it related to raiders, which were somewhat new at the time. Uh, I discovered pretty quickly that uh, your videos are basically suppressed by YouTube. Nobody's ever going to see them. I typed in, you know, I'd make this video and I would type in the exact title and it wouldn't show up. I couldn't find it through pages and pages. Uh, unless I searched for, it was like whatever it was posted in the last hour and put in the exact title. It was the only way I'd ever even find it. So it was pretty discouraging at first. Um, one of the little tricks that I think might have helped me uh, was, uh, was the comments. So what I would do is I would go into other people's videos and like Doomerous or something, and I would post a you know somewhat smart comment, and he would like it, and you know it would make its way to the top. And I don't know how many people actually discovered me that way. I would recommend so. So that's one method I, I kind of use to get out there. But I mean, other than that, I basically just you know posted and and i tried to when i did finally start getting some comments in my videos i started to respond to them i'd read did a little bit of reading about it beforehand and you know comments apparently help so my very first comment was some guy speaking russian and i had no idea what he was saying of course and i like took all the time to translate it and, and respond back to the guy and you know, that was pretty cool that I, you know, got my first comment and I was happy about it. But I, I've always tried to like respond to comments and comments do help your videos get seen. So that's, you know, that's a kind of a thing that I do. I, I try to make comments a priority. Um, I, I always like, you know, you'll, you'll see in my comments that I do the little love click on everybody. And that's just my way. I kind of saw somebody else sort of doing this in their videos, but it, it made sense to me that people, if they see that, they know that you read their comment and they appreciate that. So I always, if, I, if you don't have a love thing on your comment, it's probably because I didn't read it. Either that or it's because you only commented something like, hey, you suck. You know, that's, it's either because you commented something like that or I simply didn't see it. Or maybe I saw it and was going to type you something and forgot about it or something, but you know, if, if, if you ever want to get a hold of me, if you're trying to ask me something important or something, then just ask again in another video. I'm, I'm not, you know, if it's something legitimate and I, I, you don't have the love comment next to it, it's probably because I didn't see it. So I, I, you know, sorry about that. A lot of times people comment in old videos from a month ago that they just, you know, showed up in their search thing and they clicked on and, uh, I never see it. It doesn't pop up as a thing. And unless I go through every single video and all the comments, I'll never end up seeing it and it'll be months old by the time I do. So 
Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on with that. And then, um, and uh, one other thing on the comments is, I kind of learned this too, is, is don't ever argue with anybody. That really doesn't help. You'll end up getting people that'll troll you and, and give you thumbs down comments, you know, thumbs down and stuff. And, and it just doesn't help one bit. So, you know, the best thing to do when somebody's like leaving negative comments or trying to argue with you about something is just simply ignore them. So that's, that's another little piece of advice. And then um, as far as titling videos, uh, I kind of have a little system and I've gotten complaints about that, that I do LDOE and people are like, oh, you should say last day on earth. You, there's the tags in these videos. You should use the tags. I often don't do that because of the AZ recorder doesn't have that, but you, you kind of have to go back in after the fact and add the tags. But tags are important, apparently. Uh, I, lo I love the system I use, LDOE, and then I do the version number. So if you ever see one of my videos and it's, it comes up in a search result, you'll know it's an old one. You don't need to watch it. You know, you'll know what's new, what's old. It, it's, it's a nice way of, of listing things, so I like that. But on that same subject, uh, which is clickbait, so... You know, try really hard not to clickbait things. I know it's tempting and you're going to get a ton more views depending on your title. I mean, the title is a huge deal. If you title something like, for instance, this one here on the bottom, Hacker, best raid ever, um, completed acid bath, you know, that you're going to get a lot of views. Uh, 21,000, that's the most. But you'll also get a lot of people that are not very happy with you about the way you titled it, which, you know, mostly they're taking issue with the word hacker. And so, you know, I kind of didn't know what was going on. I have a little bit more sense, better sense of what's going on with these raids. I mean, they're so crazy. Like, like what are, what are these people? People get really upset about the word hacker. Um, and you know, is it a modder? Some people are like yelling at me, it's not a hacker, it's a modder. And other people are like, no, it's not a modder. It's, it's a free-to-play guy, and you just don't know anything. And once again, don't argue with people. It just doesn't help. But try to like be careful in the way that you title things, because people don't like to feel lied to. And that, that would be the only reason why I would ever thumbs down. I've never thumbs down anybody, but the only reason why I would you should ever thumbs down somebody is if they're like lying in their title. I mean, there might be a couple other bad things that, that could happen, but... You know, try to keep your titles as honest as you can be. I have no issue, like for example, my latest video here, ugliest raid I've done, sorry. You know, like, that's somewhat tempting at the same time. Most people want to see the good raids. I mean, most people are just interested in raids to begin with, and they want to see the good ones. So if you title, you know, this was the crappiest raid I've done or whatever, you might get some people interested, but, you know, just try to be honest with what it is. And um, so I think that's mostly it for that kind of stuff. So let me move on to the analytics. So when you, um, when you start making videos, you get an analytics page. <clears throat> and this is my somewhat up to date. It's usually about a day or two behind. But there's all kinds of information on here uh, that can kind of help you discover, uh, you know, what's going on with your channel. You just basically have to type in YouTube analytics and it'll come up. <clears throat> so, uh, depending on what you're interested in, I was always interested in watch time. So I have 1.3 million minutes watched and that's pretty cool. I mean that, uh, you know, my average videos are probably 20, 25 minutes or so. I mean, I used to make really long ones before I learned how to kind of edit them while I'm doing them. I hate editing. It's, it's something that's a real pain. I love being able to just pause the video now and it makes my videos more the way I like them. Other people don't like them. They want really big, long videos. Like I said, you can't make everybody happy. But I like short, concise videos, as short as they can be, while not editing out any important content. So that's, you know, that's what I try to go for. But, you know, yeah, I got seven, about seven and a half minutes average watch time, which is kind of cool. But the, the watch time in minutes is actually the most important thing for YouTube as far as what they consider, from what I've read. So, you know, it's nice that you've got a lot of subs. I mean, Star Snipe has like over half a million subs, but when you look at the actual people that watch his videos, it's, it's pretty low in comparison. He, the, the ratio is really low. 
like 10% of the people that are sub to him actually watch his videos. So it's cool to have a lot of subs, um, but it's really who's watching your videos and for how long are they actually watching them that, that really matters. Um, uh, lots of people make really short videos and they get tons of views, but as far as YouTube is concerned, they want to see lots of minutes actually watched. If you're advertising or something, that's pretty much all that matters. They want to see tons of minutes watched. And the minimum to advertise is you have to have a thousand subs and you have to have a uh, hundred thousand minutes per month watched, I believe. Um, something like that. And I'm kind of averaging about 400,000 minutes or something watched per month right now. So even though I just barely got my subs up, uh, up there, I've got way more minutes watch people you know will actually sit there and watch for a good long while um, and then it you know it shows your likes your dislikes comments I think as long as you've got you know like a nine to one ratio on likes to dislikes you're doing okay it, you know lots of people give you dislikes for strange reasons but whatever um, comments that's my biggie that's what I love um, shares videos and playlists and then it'll show your your top uh top videos right here which of course are all raids you know people love raids and then it breaks down your demographics and stuff uk india germany france and gender and all that stuff and how people find you so you can learn a lot of stuff on here uh on how to be become better at youtube and find out what's working not you can you can track things sort of in real time on this after you post a video but i'm not too into all this all this and that um so yeah, uh, that's it on that. I, uh, when, you, when you reach um, 100 subs, you get like a little email. Let me see if I can find that. Hold on. I can't find my red button. So yeah, I'm struggling to find the first one. But when you reach 100 uh, subs, they send you a nice little email saying congratulations. And then when you reach 1,000, they send you this one here. And then the next one, I guess, is at 10,000. Apparently, there's like some buttons that you can get, but I wasn't able to figure that out. I, I was like looking into it, like you can order some kind of gift they send you when you reach certain milestones. So maybe if you know something about that, you can let me know. But what I looked in made it sound like they don't do that anymore. or You have to be 100,000 subs or something to get it. So, uh, you know, there's that. That's always kind of nice. Um, so other than that, I mean, it's, uh, I really need to get off my butt and like clean up my page. And now that I'm over a thousand, start actually taking this a little more seriously. Uh, I'm still kind of on the fence about whether or not I want to monetize my channel. I mean, it's kind of like, why not? But at the same time, it's a little bit of a turn off having videos playing during the raids. And I, I, you know, I don't particularly like that on other people's channels, but I, I might do that. I'm not sure. I heard that, that can, that's a long process to even get that started, so we'll see. I'm, I'm, I might be doing that soon. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure what else uh, I'm forgetting to talk about, but if you have any questions, as always, you know, I love to, love to see the comments, so um, go ahead and, and ask, ask away, uh, and I will do my best to respond. All right, guys. Um, and yeah, I'll try to get some revenge raids posted here. I, I'm I'm going to be somewhat unavailable for the next week, so it's going to be a struggle. But I'll be posting what I can when I can. Uh, all right, guys, have a good one. Bye bye.